Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about some of the questions asked in TCS NQT in the morning batch. And also, uh, many students were not able to take the test because of the server issue. And uh, TCS has given message, sent a message that uh, they will reschedule the test for them and uh, the date will be informed by 25th October. And uh, we will discuss about some of the questions asked today. So, the first question is, a sum invested on simple interest grows to rupees to 22,500 and rupees 25,500 in 7 and 9 years respectively. What is the rate percentage of the interest? So this was the questions they asked. So they have given that a simple interest uh, amount 22,500 in 7 years and 25,500 in 9 years. In simple interest the basic concept is that the interest for all the years will be the same okay so this concept we are going to take into consideration and we have to find the rate percentage so simple interest is equal to pnr by 100 we have to find that r we don't know what is the principal and as well as the interest so uh, we are going to find the interest so difference between these two years will give the interest for two years because uh, the span between seven years and nine years is two years so the difference between 25,500 and 22,500 will give you the interest for two years so that is 3,000 so for one year how we will calculate 3,000 divided by 2 which is equal to 1,500 and for seven years we have to find because we have to find the principal amount now we have find the interest we have to find the principal amount so that we can find the rate of interest so how we are going to calculate the principal amount is that in 22,500 that will be principal amount okay well, because uh, amount is equal to simple interest plus principal uh, so we have find the principal uh, simple interest and we know the amount we are going to find the principal so that is the basic formula we are going to use so for one year 1500 so for seven years 7 into 1500 which is equal to 10,500 so principal is equal to this amount minus interest you will get the principal amount as 12,000 so if you substitute in this formula uh, for simple interest for 7 years 10,500 is equal to 12,000 into 7 into r divided by 100 you will get r as 12.5 if you consider for 7 years means you have to put the simple interest for 7 years if you consider for 1 year that is 1500 means you have to put n value as 1 so both the uh, steps you will get the same answer the second question is in a competitive exam 5 marks are awarded for every correct answer and for every wrong answer 2 marks are deducted Satvik score 32 marks in the examination so correct answer uh, the mark awarded is 5 and for wrong answer the marks awarded is 2 so total he got 32 marks and then if 4 marks had been awarded for each correct answer and 1 mark had been deducted for each incorrect answer he would have scored 34 marks so if uh, the mark for the correct answer is 4 and for the wrong answer it is 1 means he would have got 34 marks so what they are asking is if Satmik at attempted all the questions how many questions were there in the test? They are asking total number of questions in the test. So we can uh, solve this by uh, taking this into an equation. So we will consider it as uh, the correct answer value is x and uh, the total number of answers where correct is x and total number of uh, questions which are wrong is y. So 5x minus 2y is equal to 32. This is the first equation. And for next equation, 4x minus y is equal to 34. If you solve these two equations, you will get the number of correct, uh, total number of correct uh, answers and total number of wrong answers. So x is equal to 12, y is equal to 14. So they are asking the total number of questions. So add these both, you will get 26. So 26 is your answer. So the next question is, if n is an integer such that 1n n352 is a six digit number exactly divisible by 24, what will be the sum of the possible values of n? This is the question they ask. So they are saying that this is a six digit integer. What are the possible values of n such that this number is exactly divisible by 24? So we have to find the divisibility rule of 24. So divisibility of uh, rule for 24 is not directly there. So we will split up as 4 and 6. So 4 divisibility is last two numbers should be divisible by 4. So 52 is divisible by 4. So it is always getting divisible by 4. So you consider that. And for 6 you will see the uh, divisibility rule for 2 and 3. So for 2 already uh, the unit digit is even number. So in 2 also it is getting divisible. So based on 3 alone we have to find the n value. So divisibility rule of 3 is, uh, is sum of digits should be divisible by 3. So that is the divisibility rule of 3. So we will consider that 
uh, 1 n n 3 5 2 so we add this integers so n plus n you will get 2 n and other numbers if you add 1 3 5 n 2 you will get as 11 so 2 n plus 11 you have to substitute the values 1 by 1 from 0 to 9 you have to see which numbers are divisible by 3 so that numbers you have to take into consideration and add those numbers so that is the answer so if you put 0 means uh, 0 uh, 2 into 0 you will get 0 so value is 11 so it is not divisible by 3 so 1 means uh, 13 you will get it is not divisible by 3 and if you put 2 means you will get the answer as 15 so it is divisible by 3 so like that values you have to put so only 2 5 and 8 if you put n value as 2 5 and 8 the sum of the digits will get divisible by 3 so this is the answer so they are asking the sum of the possible values of n so add these three numbers you, you will get 15 so 15 is your answer so the next question what they asked was what is the mean deviation of the data 8, 9, 12, 15, 16, 20, 24, 30, 32 and 34 they have given a data set and they are asking mean deviation morning also I uploaded a video regarding this mean deviation statistics so if you have not checked it yet please go and check it but the video will be in Tamil so you can go and check so what they have given is mean deviation so in mean deviation there are two ways mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median so since they have not mentioned it we have to uh, find for mean deviation about mean so the formula is summation of x minus x bar divided by n so this is the formula for mean deviation about mean so uh, we have to find the x bar first that is the average arithmetic mean so add all these numbers divided by the sum of the uh, total number of observations you will get 200 divided by 10 you will get the value as 20 and x bar value is 20 and x value is what is 8 this given data so you have to consider it as 8 minus 20 you will get as minus 12 but since it is in model sign you are directly writing as 12 only positive numbers will be there so 12 plus and uh, 9 minus 20 you will get as 11 so if you do like that means you will get these values and divided by 10 so if you add all these values means you will get as 80 so 80 divided by 10 your answer is 8 so the mean deviation of the given data is 8 so the next question is the mean of a set of data is 5 what will be the mean if 10 is subtracted from each data they have given so they have given that mean of a data is 5 10 is subtracted from each value from the data so you are having a property that if uh, any changes made to the mean of uh, each value in the data the resultant will be the uh, difference between the answer from the mean original mean itself the formula is new mean is equal to original mean minus changes made you are making a change that 10 is subtracted from each value so your answer will come from the original mean minus the changes made that is 5 minus 10 you will get as minus 5 if 10 is subtracted means you will put uh, the original mean minus 10 if 10 is added means you will put as 5 plus 10 if uh, 2 is multiplicated means 5 into 2 and if uh, 3 is uh, divided means 5 by 3 you will put so any changes made to each value in the data uh, it will be affected by the original mean by the same amount of value you are going to make the change so the next question is after purchasing two copies of the same book x sold them respectively at 0 0.8 and 1.4 times their cost price what was the percentage gain earned or loss incurred by x so they have given that uh, x is purchasing two copies of the same book he sold them at 0 0.8 and 1.4 times their cost price so cost price is not known to you so consider cost price as 100 so he sold them at 0 0.8 and 1.4 times their cp so 100 into 0 0.8 plus 100 into 1.4 you will get as 80 plus 140 if you add these board bits you will get the selling price as 220 so your cost price what you have considered is 100 for one copy so for two copies means 200 your selling price is 220 when selling price is greater than cost price means it is uh, known that he has earned profit so profit percentage is equal to you will get as uh, selling price minus cost price divided by cost price so you will get the answer as 20 divided by 200 you will get the answer as 10 percentage gain the next question is the collection of numbers which comprise the data given below is arranged in ascending order so they have given the data as 3 7 9 n minus 1 15 18 19 20 if the median of the data is 12.5 what is the value of n they are asking so median means we have to consider the middle value if it is odd means we will get only one value so since they are given even number of data so 8 8 number of data so 8 is even so you have to consider the middle two values so we have to add the 
add that divide by 2 you will get the medi median so the two values are n minus 1 plus 15 divided by 2 which is equal to 12.5 they have given the median value as 12.5 so you cross multiply this you will get the n value so n plus 14 is equal to 25 so 25 minus 14 you will get as 11 so n value is 11 so the next question is x is 4 times as efficient as y in respect of doing a particular work working together they complete the work in 16 days in how many days y working alone will be able to do half the work they are asking so they have given that x and y are the two members so x is four times as efficient as y so you will put x as x and y as 4x because four times efficient so you will consider and both these are working and they complete the work in 16 days so you will add these both so 1 by x plus 1 by 4x is equal to 1 by 16 so if you are doing this in fraction method you can do also in lcm method so if you take LCM means 5 by 4x is equal to 1 by 16. So x value what you will get is 20. So substitute in uh, y value because they are asking the value of y only. So y is equal to 80 days. They have given the option as 80 days also in the option. Uh, you don't mark that option because they have asked half the number of uh, half the work. So you have to divide by 2. So you will get the value as y is equal to 40 days. So y takes 40 days to complete half the work. What is the diameter of a solid right circular cylinder whose height is 6 cm and the lateral surface is 5 times the combined area of the two flat surfaces they have given. This is the concept of mensuration. They have given solid right circular cylinder whose height is 6 cm and they have given that lateral surface is 5 times the combined area of the flat surface. So we have to take the lateral surface of the solid right circular cylinder. So lateral surface of the solid right circular cylinder is 2 pi r h and they have given 5 times the combined area of the flat surface that is equal to 5 times the combined area of the flat surface so in uh, right circular cylinder the flat area is circle so area of the circle is pi r square they have seen that combined area of the flat surface so they are two circles so 2 into pi r square and 5 times means 5 into 2 pi r square so you are equating all these terms so height is 6 so 2 pi r gets cancelled on both the sides so you will get as 6 is equal to 5 r r is equal to 1.2 we know that diameter is equal to twice the radius so 2 into 1.2 you will get the diameter as 2.4 so the next question what they asked was they have given a dice like this they have given four options you have to select which of the options is correct they have combined uh, they gave given the options like only 1 and 2 satisfies or only 2 and 3 and 4 satisfies like that they have given. So this comes in the concept of open dice. In this concept what is the logic is that this alternate numbers will be opposite to each other. For example, this G and U will be opposite to each other. This M and N will be opposite to each other. And this P and A will be opposite to each other. So this is the concept in open dice. Alternate alphabets or alternate numbers will be opposite to each other. So from the given options you have to select which option is true. So uh, take it as uh, G, U, M. So G, U, M you consider. So G, U and M. G and U are opposite to each other. So they cannot be like this. So this option is omitted. And uh, P, U, M. So P, U, M means P, U, M. So this option will come as correct only. And we'll see this uh, N A M. So N here, A here, M. N and M are opposite to each other. So they cannot come like this. So this is also wrong. And A U P. So A U P. A and P are opposite to each other. So this also will not come. So the only option correct is only 2. So 2 is the correct. And next question what they have given is they have given a simplification value like this. So 0 0.000. 1 to 8 to the power minus 1 by 7. You have to calculate the value for this. Uh, in this, uh, For this question, you can use calculator inbuilt in that. Uh, I think so. Uh, it is also having the exponential value. Uh, I don't know exactly, but it is there or not. So the value for this uh, expression is you will get the answer as 5. These were some of the questions asked in the morning slot. I will solve the remaining problems in the next video. So some problems were very easy. Some problems were little tough. And in programming logic, they asked, they have given a graph and they asked us to find the pre-order of that. And they have also given the infix expression and asked us to direct the expression for postfix and prefix. And there were some of the Java questions and some questions were related to theory. So prepare all these questions and these questions will be posted in my upcoming videos. So to see those videos, please subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you in the next video. So until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.